Hello and welcome to the First Summer Pentaki with a continuation of the Companion Guide series where we do extensive tests on each and every companion to find the best setups for each and every situation. Here we will have a look at Rodolfo Capafiro. Hopefully I said his name right, but this guy is essentially a um, downgraded version of Kobio Jimbo and Wagyu Sinjero. He does have one distinct advantage, however, he has five and a half movement while Kobio Jimbo and Wagyu Sinjero have only four and a half movement. Now, if you want to learn more about those two companions, a link down below in the description. Generally speaking, those two companions are better than Rodolfo in PvP situations and arguably in PvE situations as well. Um, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of this, some of these, some some of the other features of this companion. Uh, so. This guy has an epic strike, which is more than a lot of other companions in this game. Uh, gives him a distinct advantage, obviously, because it's a solid hit and it leads to chains. And he also has alert, which makes it so he takes 50% less damage from bombs and traps. Really nice to have. Alright, now, when would you want to use this companion? I would say he's probably on the high end of troll companions. Your standard companions like Contessa... El Toro, um, Van Flanders, and even Sarah Steele, uh, I would say. Kobe Ojimbo and Wagyu Sinjiro definitely uh, are preferable to use. Uh, but this guy does outrange both Kobe Ojimbo uh, and Wagyu Sinjiro. So he, had, he does have that advantage over them. He's not all that bad. Uh, he's definitely better than Iago and Lucky Jack Russell. And many of the other troll companions you could possibly use. So yeah, he's he's on the high end of troll PvP companions, and he's a solid pick for PvE and uh, companion wars. Now, if you want to learn more about companion wars, a link down below in the description. We host them every now and then. It's where the companions face off versus other companions without the aid of pirates. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, sometimes I stream those here on this channel. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some epic setups you may want to put on this guy. So the first epic setup is for Companion Wars and PvE. Rodolfo comes with seven epics total. And this particular setup right here, um, the, the, it focuses on triggering chains. Um, so notice that Rodolfo has both Relentless Rank 2 and Bladestorm Rank 2. Uh, why do you call these chaining epics here? Uh, because Relentless can get a total of three hits with a 35% uh, chance, and Bladestorm can basically do the same, but it's based off of criticals and uh, if you kill something. So they kind of feed into each other for a massive amount of damage, equaling uh, six hits altogether. Now, Repas can trigger either of these, First Strike can trigger either of these, and Repel Borders can trigger either of these. So you have a, a multitude of ways to trigger uh, these uh, particular epics uh, into a chain reaction for a massive amount of damage. So that's the logic behind it. Now there is one weakness, and that is that with this particular setup, you're especially vulnerable to hidden attacks. However, most mobs do not have hides, and in Companion Wars, most Companions don't have hides, so uh, he would be a solid choice with this particular epic setup uh, here. All right. That being said, I did mention the one weakness with this setup. Now here's how you get past that and possibly use this guy for a serious PvP match. So what you could do instead is go for First Strike, Rank 3, Relentless Rank 2, and Repost Rank 2. Um, so there you guys have it. Well, I forgot to mention this while I was um, recording the video, but now that I'm editing it, uh, I noticed that I forgot to uh, mention the talents. So this guy does receive five less talents than uh, both Kobe Ojimbo and Waikyu Sinjiro and pretty much all the other good swashbuckler companions. Um, so here is how you want to sum up. Tough rank four, accurate rank four, dodgy rank four, and... Um, uh, rough rank 2. Uh, so that's for both setups, both the PvE and PvP one.
Uh, those are the two setups for Rodolfo Capafiero, and that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, guys, it's been your friend and pal, the Fearsome Murbadaki, with yet another Pirate 101 video, because goodness knows I love this game. Quack a diddle doo, and peace out for now. Like what you see and want to help support it? Well, do consider joining the Quack Club. In order to do that, you'd head over to the Fearsome Murbadaki on YouTube. Hit that join button. There'll be a video explaining the perks starting with Big Quack. Um, so not only will you have your name here on the side, but you will also have some of our badges and emotes. And then we move on, of course, to Epic Quack, which is the next tier. And that will also give you some extra voting privileges. So when I put a poll out on anything regarding a decision made by the viewers here on this YouTube channel, you will get an extra vote. And you will also get priority pet morph in our pet morphing streams. If you want to see some of the amazing pets we have, a link down below in the description. I promise you will not be disappointed. And next we have our Mega Quack. This will, of course, give you um, priority PvP teaming. Um, so when I do my 3v3 viewer streams, I like to team with as many people as I possibly can for from the PvP community. But I want to give priority to my biggest supporters, obviously. So um, that's uh, Make a Quack right here. There's only one more tier that's higher than that, and that is Super Quack. And if you guys want to pledge that much support, I will honestly just make you your own custom profile picture um, off of what uh, drawing skills I have on Microsoft Paint for getting better and better. But uh, this is what I have here uh, from some uh, of my past clients. So it's it's kind of a cartoonish style. Uh, if, if that if that suits you, if you just want to give me the support, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate any and all support, though. Your view, your like, your comments, uh, any sharing of this video is, of course, much appreciated. Thanks again, guys, so much. Uh, quack a doodle doo, and peace out for now. <laughs>